Okay, good morning, everyone. Let me know if you can hear me. Two nice gaps here today. Uh, we're going to watch them both. Let me just figure out which one we're going to watch first. Let's look at the market. Good morning, good morning, everyone. Uh, wow, market's just gorgeous. Look, we, we pre-market, we even gapped up to 108, I mean, which was one of the next targets. Look at this. Great call I made of market here. So, again, I don't think we go anywhere to the downside today. This is basically a neutral gap. Made a new high in the queues yesterday. Only a teeny weeny little one in the SPY, but still very strong. And this is a neutral gap. Again, tough to go long here, but really, you can't short it, even though people are doing that. Market is not going to go anywhere to the downside today. And even if it does, it's really not going to have any momentum or follow through in it. So let's just play a nice play here quickly in the morning and be done. It's Friday, and that's my plan of action. It's been a solid week considering how bullish the market is. I mean, it, if you look at the plays we had this week and the calls I've made and the market, it really confirms and, and gives me conviction, okay, that the only way to trade consistently profitably is gaps because we shorted this week and, and we had it, you know, every day I hit it and look at what the market did this week. And I said February is going to be a very bullish month and it, and it is. It was all week. It's been since February started and look at the shorts we got this week. The problem with this is that this basically, I just don't want this to rally. I don't really want this to rally either. <laughs> so to be honest with you, I want everything to set up immediately and nothing to rally today just because of the way everything is situated. Uh, and you could definitely look at this today, too. I'm not going to. You could. All right. I don't know what I'm going to do first. I'm going to watch them both. You're going to have to follow me today. I'm watching two things. I'm not sure which is one is going to set up first. Probably whichever one does is the one I'm going to do. If you're looking for an idea, do half size in two of these trades today. Boom, that's it. Do I think both of them work? Probably. Do I think both of them fail? No. No, I don't. Do I think one might work and one might fail? Yeah, there's a possibility. So that's the story. Does anyone have any questions or anything they want me to look at? All the numbers are in the room above. Any questions? Everyone good? Good luck. Good luck. Good luck to you as well. Good luck, sir. <laughs> good luck. Hey, I guess no one has questions. I know, I was almost going to sing that. Good luck, Lollipop. No reverse wishes today. Not that you should ever do one.
this 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 could rally, but I really don't want this to rally at all. This Terry may say about the market. Market is bullish until the end of time, but for today, what we just said for like the last year, but for today, I don't think we have the market against us in the morning once again. Meaning, could the market drop a little bit this morning? Yes. Do I think it gets any kind of sell-off? No. Do I think the market's bearish today? No. So, but I don't think the market is bullish immediately out of the gate today. So for our morning play, the answer is go for it. You have nothing to worry about with the market. And again, there's, there's literally nothing that the market could do here today in this gap. Okay, it's the gap to be bearish. Market's opening neutral. Okay, there is nothing to short here. But I know that people are shorting this. They're shorting this because they think it's made a top here, a double, triple, quadruple, 500 number top, but it hasn't. And with the rally for the last week, people are just last two weeks, people are like, what can we do? What can we do? They feel like they can't go long, which we discussed yesterday. So they want to short. Just because you can't go long doesn't mean you can short. Hey, if these things don't set up today, I'm not going long them. I'm looking to short fuel. I'm looking to short NDLS. If they don't set up as shorts, I'm not going long them. Okay. So. There's nothing to do, really. No intraday play in the market today, so you don't have to be concerning yourself with that. I guess I'm going to watch the fuel here first. Volume's good. And we've had some volume discussions this week. Look at the volume in this, too. These are the kind of things you want to be looking at. These, these ones here today have nice volume. Jennifer can go after this today with as much share of volume size as she feels like taking. The, this is okay. Okay, these vol this is good volume here in these. Very, very nice. This is the kind of thing you can do aggressively if it sets up. Okay, I, you know, I, I don't know if he's going to set up. Clock is off. Okay, NDLS is in the middle. I'm watching the fuel out of the gate. Let's see here. Good luck, everyone. Okie dokie. Okay, I have no idea where we're going to be taking this. But roughied stop would be 11.15 right now. And I, I don't have an entry yet. Mm. We're going to do 79 by 15. 79 by 15. 79 by 15 fuel. If this sets up here, just wait. Yeah, see, there's the spread. All right, just wait, 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 wait. 79 by 15, 79 by 15 fuel, that's it. And don't do this till it triggers, and the other one hasn't done anything yet to do. Just wait. Okay, just wait. Okay, this is this is off. It's not gonna hit. Just wait. All right, NDLS. I'm looking at this now. Stop on this is gonna have to be 90. Jeez, you could do 24 by 90 on NDLS. It's a monster stop. I'm passing, but that's what it would be if that hits in there. I'm, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna stay with this. I'm gonna stay with the fuel. Stop's going to have to be 25 now, though, on the fuel, and I don't have an entry yet. You could take this when this hits over here. Stop has to be 90 on NDLS, and I'm not doing it. I'm going to do this here if it hits. Stop's going to be 20 now. Here, this is going. I'm not doing it. You can do this in here, NDLS. It's going. It hit. You can do it. You can be in it. There it goes. 
And I'm watching fuel, and if it doesn't set up, I'm not, I guess I'm passing. I'm not doing anything today because I think this is too big of a stop, but there you go. There you go. NDLS is going first, and I called, made the call. I'm not in it, and I'm not doing it. And and fuel may not set up at all here, so I might not do a thing today. No, if this goes over, uh, no, if this goes over eleven sixty, eleven fifty, eleven sixty, this isn't gonna work. So you could be in this. I can still watch this for a better entry, but if you did do my call, the stop must be 90. Gosh darn it. Why is a stop so darn big in this? And there's the market. Look, I mean, really? Seriously? No one should be shorting this market, and people really are still. Okay, so I didn't do this. If you wanted to do it, it was just a big stop. That's why I passed. This really has to hold an ideal world 1150. I'll give it 1160, but that's it. I don't know. Maybe I won't be doing a trade here today. Maybe I'm not doing a thing here today. Maybe I'm not doing a darn tootin' thing. <clears throat> Oops. But this is definitely going to go. No way to squish this one. Okay. Okay. I'm going to do 27 by 60. 27 by 60 if it hits on fuel. 27 by 60, and that's it for me in here. And if this boops over 50, I'm definitely off of it. So 27 by 60 is valid. Fuel. NDLS, you got to be in. I have to fix my clocks. Yeah, I'm going to do 29, 29 by 60. Goodness, I got filled way late. Here, just get the stop in. That broke hard. I didn't get filled at the exact number I wanted to. I'm in it though. I'm just gonna let it be though. Really, you could back off some of it if you just got filled late. That just hit really hard. I didn't get anywhere near 29. <laughs> did, did anybody get it? I'm in it. I'm in it though, but it's really actually more than I wanted to take in what I am actually risking here. Hold on one second. Jeez. Just wait one minute. Man. Well, I'm going to leave it. I'm, I'm going to leave it, actually, because I'm really not doing anything else. But that really just hit really, really hard in there, and I didn't get the price that I wanted, but I did get filled. Uh, just make sure the stop is in. Here, this is going. Here, this is going. Here's a kamikaze in this. If you want to do NDLS right now, put the stop at 60. It's 60 cents, but you really should have taken it anyways if you wanted it. I, I didn't do it. I didn't do it, and it's going. I just thought the stop was too big, and I'm in this. I'm in this, and this hit hard, and we have a stop at the right place, and I got filled through the price. But this is good, it's gonna go, so I'm gonna leave it, and I'm gonna just have to watch this like a hawk now, because if it backs up a little bit, I could kill some of it. So let's see what happens. Ooh, all of a sudden it's very spready. Okay, make sure the stop is at 60 on this, and this is fine. And this, the stop is 1160 on this, and all of a sudden out of nowhere, I just saw the woo spread. But I'm not giving it more than 60. It just wouldn't make any sense to do that. Did anybody get filled at like an exact price at 29? I mean, that just hit so hard. Give me your numbers in here for this. And I just saw a 15 cent spread again though in this. Here, we're going to have to put it at 65, and I don't really want to do that, but I think we're going to have to. I just saw, put it at 65. The spread's changing too much. It's got to be 1165 now. 
I, I'm, I'm not doing anything else today anyways because I didn't do the NDLS and it's going. So this is it for me. And actually, if this stops us out, it's not going to work. So I just put it at 65 because I just saw the spread change again. This is it. I'm not doing any of the trades today. So. So you could be in this. The stop was just massive, and I just don't think that that was really something that should have been that kind of sizing. But, you know, you could actually have the stop now at 2060 in this. I'm looking to see if that's going to do anything for a decent entry. I don't think so, though. I think that is the way that thing is setting up. This looked beautiful in the stop, and then all of a sudden it broke so hard. I got filled past the number, which is fine. At least I got in except for the fact that the spread is like going from one penny to 15 pennies, which is weird. This should settle down in the next 15 minutes by 10 o'clock. And what I really need this to do is break $11. This is going to break $11 in the next 22 minutes, and I do think that's going to happen. And if you didn't get this, you could hit this right in here. Actually, you could hit this right in here. You could hit this right in here if you didn't get it. But I put this top at 65. Here, this is going to go. I'm not doing anything else, but this is fine. And this, this you could be in. You could do this right in here with a 60 cent stop. Put stop at 2060 for NDLS. I'm not doing two things because the other one is wild. But you could do the, here, this NDLS. There you go. Oh, man, I hope this works now because I didn't do this. I just, mm, I just don't think this should have been 70 cents. What the heck? I have traded this before, but I just didn't remember it being that. Oh, way. But here we go. Okay, Shower singers, singers ended at 1121. Jeff B didn't do it. He didn't have any shares available. Gotta have a broker that has shorts. Here we go. Look, here, did anyone do this? I did not do it. I did not do this. I gave you the numbers. The next number down here is 1950, 1925, $19. This gets to $19 today. You're going to get a dollar out of this. The stop was just really, really big. NDLS will go to 19 today. And if you're lucky, you'll get it even farther. But in order to get paid, you're going to have to hold that. Come on, fuel. Fuel is good. Fuel is good. And let's do it. And I just gave it a little bit more of a cushion, which I didn't even really need to. We're going to break 11. We're going to break $11, which is all we need to get this down. And once it breaks out, we'll break for the low of the day. Target for this is 10.50. 10.500. And I'm out of this thing and calling it a day. And here we go. So five more pennies for under $11. And that's my week. Come on, just go. M is in NDLS. Red is in both. Very good. Here we go. Nice call on here. A little whippy. Here, 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 here. And that's what I'm talking about. Here it goes. Here it goes. You had time to retake it. You, if you didn't get it, you could have done it here. Here it goes. Excellent. Excellent take. And this is it. Let me just look at the market. And let me just look at this. And basically, hmm. You could do WMT and put the stop at 83.10. 30 cents on WMT. You could short that today. Here. All right. Here we go. Here's the story. If this goes right down to 1050 and bounces, I'm all out. I'm calling it a week. That is a target. And I'm not saying this doesn't break it. I'm saying that that is a target. This could go to 10. Yes, it could go to 10. It could go past 10. This is here. Here it goes. You could be out of half at 1050. I just don't want to trade late today. Here, let's just see if this crashes right through. What, anywhere this goes near 1050 or through 1050, I'm all out of it. Boop. That's it. That's my life. Here. Okay. Remember, nothing that the market does today. Nothing, 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 not a thing. The market could fall to 204 today and it wouldn't be bearish. There you go. We could we short everything to a drink target on the intraday. But the mar there's nothing that this market can do to be bearish today. The market could drop $5 in the day and not be bearish. Woo, be careful. I don't know what number this got to. Careful. Hey, everything's backing up a little bit, and the market is red. 9.42. What's the situation with that? Okay, here is this. This is fine. This this is fine too. This is fine too. This is this is just jerky. Look look at this. 
So. And you can short Debbie MT. Stop has to be 8310 if you want it. And I'm not doing that. And you could have gotten out of a smidgen in there. I actually could have done that because it got filled late, but I feel like I really want to just get out of the whole thing down at 1050. All right. You could take this again. You could take this again if you feel like it. The stop still has to be 90. Stop has to be 90. The stop has to be 90 on this. All right. I feel very relaxed now. Does anyone have any questions about anything at all? Anything about this? Anything about NDLS? Anything else you're watching? Anything else you want me to look at? You could do M WMT if you want as well. Nothing the market can do is bearish. If it falls today, we'll just hold fuel down to 10, but I don't think it's going to go to 10, 10 by 10 o'clock. And it is Friday, and it's 943. Look, everything is a little whippy today of the ones we watched. But this is fine too. So is anybody still in this and going to hold this? Very big stop, but this one's fine too. Hmm. You could have gotten out some of that. That was two R's in there. I mean, I don't know where you got filled, but this is going to go to 1050 at least. But this was two R's. I mean, you really could have a training plan if you're in here with me every day that every time you get an R in something, you get out of pack. You, if you did that, you probably would like almost never lose because even trades that I call that set up that, that don't work right on the day go usually like one R and then you'd back trail half the rest. But I just don't trade like that. But I'm just saying if you really wanted to be tight, 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 tight. You could do this again in here. 93, but the stop has to be... You could do 93 by 50. I, I don't think it can be tight on this. You do 93 by 50. I've got it at 65, and it's not going to go anywhere near there. I mean, you should already be in this if you want it. I mean, if you liked it. This is fine. There's nothing wrong with this. It's just taking a long, 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 long time. So if you did this here, the stop was 90. Oh my goodness, even if I said here, if you put it at 60, you could have done this here and 60 held. So what, what did anybody, who's doing what in this? Is anybody still in this to get out of some of this here or what? I'm not like managing this for you 100%. I gave you the targets and I'm not doing it, but this was a big stop for this stock, for the price point. I didn't do it. I called a kamikaze here. If you did it, are you still in it? Jennifer did both. And you could have gotten out of some of this fuel. I don't think there was any reason to. Discipline dude took fuel half size and took half out in the first big drop. That's fine. Anna's still in NDLS. That's fine too. 938 did the one in NDLS, out all at 20, then back in and still on the second try. That's fine too. Okay, here you go. You're getting this. Oh, gosh. Do I really feel like doing something else? I mean, you could do this here 20 by 60. You really could do 20 by 60. Think about it for one more second, though. It's just going to keep going. I am going to do this. I'm going to do this right in here. I'm doing it right now. NDLS stop is 2060. 2060. You don't have to wait till it breaks 20 because it already set up. I'm doing them both. I just decided if I wait one more second, it's going to go here. It's going to break 20. 
Well, this is a little bit better than the original stop, but I just decided to do it. Hold on. Here it goes. 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 All right. All right. Just here. This is what I'm going to do. This, I'm just going to stay with it, try to get it down to the whole thing for 10.50. Wait, hold on. This I'm going to manage right now. Hold on. I'm going to take a quick trade in this uh, this one here. I'm taking a quick, quick trade in the NDLS to see if I can get it down to 19.50 because it's just broke. And I'm going to be a little more patient with the fuel. I just decided to do this. I just decided to do this too. Here. I mean, you could have done them both all along. And some of you did. Hesitation kills the cat. All right, here we go. NDLS, let's get it right down. Drop all the way through the floor of the earth. Fuel, is it even moving? Is this like a snail or something? And you could do an add in here. I'm not doing that because I just decided to do this, but you literally could. You could take more of the fuel, but I really think the stop needs to be where we have it. You could actually lower it to 60 or even 50. I'm not going to do that right now, but you could, you could. With my million shares, it'll help what? All these things? <laughs> Actually, we should have a discussion about buying power because somebody had emailed me something about a question. Um, let's go. This is very aggressive now, but timing is good. Actually, it's not that aggressive. Timing is good. Timing is good. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Is this moving? Yeah, apparently it is. All right. Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. So what I'm going to do is basically kind of just get all out of this NDLS soon because I think it's going to drop faster and harder. That's why I just decided to do it. But the fuel is a snail, and I do think it's fine, except for it is so slow. I guess that's why I decided to do this. Just Let's just get some quick money booked in this thing and follow the fuel down. And I still want to be done early today. I still don't want to hold anything today. Here, come on, NDLS. NDLS. Here it goes. Here it goes right now, all the way down to 1950. Here, hold on. This is it. I'm getting out of this in 1950 if it doesn't break it. Because I'm in the other one, and I still think it goes to 1050. And you can actually hold it to $10 if you did this too. This could go to 19 though. Hold on. Yeah. They could both go. This this could drop a dollar. The other one could drop a dollar. The other one's a snail. It's Friday. It's 9.50. It's been a short week, but it, boy, it was a short week, but a good week. Man. Total 100% focus. Here we go. NDLS. Oh, God. Why does this do this every single solitary second? This is like a snail, too. Just be patient. <laughs> this one dude's like, come on, market. I have a hair appointment at 11. You're funny. <laughs> now, I have a mentoring session with Braulio at 11. This is fine. Look at this. You could really get aggressive and take more in here. I'm not, but you could. I could have done that, but I didn't feel like doing that, and I did this. And this is just as wild as any of the others. So here I am. Now I'm in two things. <laughs> you crack yourself up, this will do. All right, I was going to quick it out of this, and now I might quick it out of the other one. We'll see. Whichever one happens first, boom. Let's get some profits going here into 10 o'clock. We haven't booked anything yet, but we're up, and everything, come on. Go, go, go. Market is fine for now. And this is also two. This is fine. This is fine. It's just uh, this really... It's not going to full on break until it breaks 1950. So I'm just telling you, it could bounce hard at 1950 and not break. But if it does get to 1950 and breaks, it's going to go right down to 19. Here, let's just watch the fuel. I'm switching this off here. I'm putting the other one in the middle here because basically I might be getting out of this one first now. Who knows? Here, it's fine. Did anyone do the ad in this? I really don't think it was a good idea to lower the stop, but you could have. And if you did do the ad, you really should have lowered the stop. I just kept it. And I was filled late in that, so it was the right thing to do. Just keep what I had. And NDLS, come on. Man, what? This week was a short week, and what a good week we had. And look at the market. 
It's all about what you do. It is, it's everything, every single solitary thing of what you do, it always has to do with the stock pick. The pick, the entry, everything you do. Everything that's, you make it or break it. Whether the market's bullish or bearish or hard or choppy or anything, it doesn't even matter. It has to do with the stock that you pick and the way that you trade it. You can make money if you get it, and if you don't, you don't. It doesn't even matter. The market could be power trending down bearishly, and if we don't have a good gap to short, we can't do it. We cannot do it. It has to do with what you pick and the way that you take that trade. Just confirms it. It's got the confirmation of the week. When I look back at the week and what we did this week and what the market did, it's just 100% confirmation. All right, let's take a bet here. Who thinks what's going to break first? Take a look, a rolling bet here. Who thinks fuel is going to break first or NDLS? Who thinks what's going to go to the target first? Quickly, quickly, let's play a little game. Fuel or NDLS? Which one do you think is going to break first and go to the target first? Which one? NDLS, red is saying. NDLS, Anna saying. Lines, 38 saying fuel. Shower, Singer saying fuel. What if they break at the same time? I'm wishing that that happens. Jaguar Paw says NDLS, and I sent an email out, and if you're not on the email list, you're going to miss what Jaguar Paw wrote. And actually, I'm going to read it in the room today, what he wrote, his story. I'm going to read it when we're done. Some of you read the email, some of you don't, because you've already done the class. So I'm going to read it in the room, his story, when we're done trading today. They were all correct? They are all correct. Here, let's just look at the market. <laughs> See, the market really isn't going anywhere. The market isn't going anywhere at all whatsoever. It's just not going anywhere. So, and we're shorting everything in the world today. What happened to this? Did this trigger? Yeah, it did. WMT did trigger and didn't follow through on the daily for the intraday I'm talking about. I don't know if anybody did that. All right, here, fuel. Fuel looks like it's going to break the low first. I thought you were on the list, Dave. I'll go check it. Email me to remind me if you're not on the list. I thought you were. I just assumed you were. Look, it's a tie. It's a race to the finish. <laughs> Look at the two of them. <laughs> it's like we're doing a, it's like we're betting on the horse races here. Who's going to win? Who's going to get the trifecta? <laughs> Jennifer's laughing out loud. Anna says the smart one is you because you're in both. Yes, which is very aggressive given that it's a Friday. I did that one because I thought it was I thought it was just gonna go right down after I took it. Wishful thinking. It's not doing anything wrong though, but I thought, oh, if I don't take this here, I'm gonna regret it. It could just drop a dollar off the planet, but obviously. Well, you gotta see what the story is. And make sure your stops are in. Let's just, let, hold on, let's just double check everything here. You know what? I'm not keeping this at 65 anymore. That doesn't make any sense. Just hold on one second. Fuel is going to 60 back where it originally was, okay? That can be there, period. Now, let's look at this other one. Hold on one second. Yeah, this one is fine. 60, keep it. That's the story. Okay, I just double checked everything and let's double check the market and it's fine. All right, so. NDLS, you had the stop at 20. 
Why did you have the stop at 20 for NDLS, Great Gatsby? That's where I shorted it. I'm a little confused. The short, I said take it at 20, put the stop at 2060. Why did you get stopped out at 20? Why did you have the stop at 20? I'm confused what you're doing, Great Gatsby. And you did do the class. I know you're just practicing this first week here in a demo, but tell me what you're doing here. Do you not understand where I'm calling the numbers? When I say 20, that's the entry. 20 by 60 means you're taking the short at 20 and you're putting the stop at 2060. So you shouldn't have been stopped out at 20 unless you just don't want to lose any money at all or leave, give the trade a chance to work. In which case, you should have just scalped it and made 20 cents in there wherever it dropped to or 25 cents because it did drop down. I don't understand what you did and write it in the room because I'm concerned. I know you're new to the platform, but the stop was not 20. Everyone knows that, right? Let's review it again. Fuel the stop is 11.60. The stop for NDLS is 20.60. You shorted it at 99. That's fine. But why did you get stopped out? It's not stopped out. You wanted to go down to 19.50. I wanted to go down to 19.50. But why did you get stopped out at your entry price? That wasn't where the stop should be. You're just taking everything and putting it at break even? I don't understand what you're doing. And write it in the run. You can't expect every trade to go right to the target. I know sometimes they do. I know sometimes they do. FYI, fossil, quite frankly. And even WMT did it yesterday. I mean, really? I don't know who held that or whatever. Look, this is going to go without you now. Great Gatsby, this is going to go without you, and it's not doing a thing wrong. I'm not a thing on the planet. So it's waiting for this to squish on top of it. And this didn't break the low, and I'm slightly concerned. Uh, just let me look at one thing here. I'm going to stay with it. I, I don't know why this didn't break the low yet, though. If you're going to put, you're going to kill everything at break even, I don't know how you're going to make any money. I, I honestly don't, unless you're just, I don't, I don't know. What, tell me what's going on in your brain. You did the class. Is it because you don't understand the platform? If, you, if you're not going to give trades a chance to work, how are you going to make any money? The only ones you're ever going to go is the ones that hit and go right away. And if that's the case, then, then actually you, you, this, this went. I mean, you should have just got out of this with a 25 cent profit. Like if that's how you're going to trade, you should have just taken it and made 25 cents and got all out. Like literally, you, you gotta, if you're going to trade like that, which is not the way that I teach you to trade. I mean, it's absolutely not the way I teach you to trade whatsoever. And you shouldn't trade like that. But I'm saying if you absolutely can't stand to let it go against you at all, then where you shorted it at 99, you could have got out of it and made 25 cents. You would actually be looking at the level two. And if it goes two pennies over any number, you would just take it out with profit. I, I, I don't know. I could not trade like that. And I don't think you should either. And I didn't teach you to do that. But if that's what you should have just made 25 cents and now you just made nothing. So if that's what you're going to do, which I don't know why you would do that. But if that's really what you feel like you have to do, then you're really just you're looking at the level two. And every time it backs up two pennies, you're going to have to take it out, which I don't know how you're going to make any money then. Unless the stock drops off the planet right away, which some stocks do do. But that is not five days a week. This is going to go into work and you're not in it. This is going to go a dollar from where you traded it and you killed it. So I don't know what to say. These are things that you learn and live. I don't see Brett in here today, but Brett, Brett would do that all the time. Brett would do that 50 times. Brett would do that constantly, 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 constantly. Would never hold anything to the target. Would never hold anything to the dream target. Would kill it. Would be up. Let it back up. It, it, it just, you know, it's... 100% conviction. What does that mean? It means I'm taking the trade and I'm willing to risk the amount of money. $20, $50, $40, $100, $1,000, $1, whatever it is. Whatever you can afford. Whatever you can do. Here, NLS is going to go to 19 probably now just because of the fact that Great Gaps be killed it. Unfortunately, your mistake is actually going to work in our favor because the market is going to teach you a lesson today. And it's going to work in our favor here too who have kept it. The market's going to teach you a big lesson today, Great Gatsby, because it's going to go just to prove to you that you shouldn't have killed it. So we're lucky we're in it. But honestly, <laughs> I 
Let me just see what everybody's saying here. Make the phone call and tell them to bring it down to 19. Who am I calling? <laughs> I don't know anyone. I don't know anyone in any of these places. NDLS, you're talking about? Discipline dude is giving some suggestions to Great Gatsby. He's saying decide what you are comfortable risking and then trade that size to build the conviction. Very good advice, Discipline dude, for Great Gatsby. It's really going to go to 19 now just to teach Gary Catsby a lesson, but that's good. Discipline dude said he's trying to give you some advice and he's saying, listen, decide what you're comfortable risking for the cash dollar amount. Whatever that is, trade it consecutively day after day after day. Risk it. Risk it full on. Whatever that amount is you're okay with. with. And then practice getting the conviction with that amount. Anna is saying I should have the title Conviction Queen and wear the tiara. That's a good idea, Sam. Gosh, I wanted to get out of something quick by 10 o'clock. Hey, hmm. Obviously, the idea of trading quick isn't in my vocabulary here today. You're just practicing. That's okay. I know. I know. It's okay, Great Gatsby. I know it's okay you're practicing. I know you're new. I'm just saying I want you to get into the habit of doing what you would have as the right action so that when you do start to trade bigger, then you, then you get it. And this teaches you the conviction to hold it through. And especially if you're in practice mode, it's important to do that. Catwoman is saying what it, she did for a while was get out on the first or second drop, book the profit, watch for the day to see things how things work out. That's actually good advice as well. The number of risk you're comfortable is for you alone. True. That number is a number that you, if you lost today and three days in a row, would not upset your day emotionally. True. Man, it is tempting to retake this fuel. Let's see if this fuel sets up again in the five-minute chart. Not retake it, I mean do an ad. Take more of it. Market is just chopping in Nowheresville. Market is chopping Nowheresville. Here's this, and here's this. And it feels like everything is a snail today for some reason. I dreamed of getting out of everything quickly. It's not happening. Anyways, let's talk about buying power. Someone emailed me a question about buying power. When you have a proprietary day trading firm account, you are you have whatever buying power they give you okay that will vary upon the place that you trade at but when you take a position in it for example i'm just using easy numbers if you shorted fuel at ten dollars and you took three thousand shares it'd be thirty thousand in buying power that would take up out of your account for example at a prop place but if you have a retail account a retail day trading account your way they figure out the shorts, okay, is actually not, if your BP is 4 to 1, okay, they figure out the shorts, they take 30%. So you actually need more than the 25% to cover it on the short side. Keep that in mind when you're figuring out your positions. This isn't for a proprietary day trading account. This is for a retail day trading account. So you don't need 30,000 cash to take a uh, uh, 3,000 share position at $10 strike price if you have a prop account. It's actually going to need more than that BP if it's, a, if it's a retail account. But either way, you don't need the actual uh, cash. It's based on the buying power. It's called I call it buying power, but it's really margin. It's a margin account. Day trading, you trade in a margin. Whether you have a proprietary day trading account or whether you have a retail brokerage account, you are day trading a margin. Everyone day trades a margin. It's okay to do that because you're flat by 4 o'clock. And also, we trade with stops. And also, you can have the broker put in the stop. 
and proprietary day trading firms do put in a stop. You can use a stop at a day trading firm retail account too. Here's the NLS. It's going to go just because Great Gaps killed it. But I'm just letting you know that you don't need the full cash on value. Catwoman, are you out? Did you do anything today or you just observed? Have a good weekend. Thanks for the good calls. You're welcome. Um, does anyone have any questions about anything while we're sitting here waiting for these snails? Because there really are snails. It's 10 and and I haven't booked any money in anything yet. And I'm sitting here waiting for these things. And yes, we could have booked money in both. We could have booked money in NDLS. We could have booked money in fuel. We could have played two quick trades and been all out. We could have essentially made 50 cents today just getting out of quick moves in both of these. I didn't play it that way. I really just didn't even want to play it that way. But I certainly didn't think it would be 10.08 and I'm still in two trades here. Mr. Mom booked a couple hours profit. I'll have both and feeling in the LS. All right. That's fine. And if you have places to go, you have to do that. It is 10 o'clock and it is Friday. I said I didn't want to trade late today. What the heck? While we're looking at this, I'm just going to look and see what how many things we have out on Monday because there's nothing to do here. And I'm not just going to kill these. They're fine. I just want to see what we have Monday. Monday is February 23rd. We do have some things on Monday. Dish, MHR, these both look fine. They're just snails. Uh, let me look at Dish. Well, we can watch it. I'm not crazy about this, though. Dishes Monday morning. You got out the low, so you're happy, Mr. Mom says. Have a lot to do today. Thank you very much for the call. You're welcome. And you did them both. So, again, we could have done them both and basically made 50 cents on them both. Maybe I was too patient today. I think in the end it's not going to matter. What am I saying? I'm saying these both aren't going to not break. So either NDLS drops and goes a dollar from where it's at right now, sets up in a five minute and we can even do an ad, even if we get stopped out of fuel, or they both go on to work. They're not both not going to continue farther. But we will be trading later here, and there's nothing I can do about it. There's not a thing I can do about it. If you're not on the email list, email me to be on the list. So if you want to get on it, but I'm going to tell you a little story here today since I have time. There's nothing else I can do here, but just wait. Make sure your stop's in and everything, though, because the market is trying to hold. Hold on. We have a comment here. Patience is a double-edged sword, and you're always torn. This is Mr. Mom. Stay in, make big money, <laughs> or get out when it hesitates and accept less. You pull your hair out over that every day. That is funny, Mr. Mom, but so true. It's completely true. You know where I have the situation? Like this here, I'll tell you honestly from my perspective. Like today doesn't bother me. Like, this is whatever it turns out to be here today, which we're going to make money. I just don't know what it's going to turn out to be. But anyways, like, days like this still does not bother me. I Days like this bother Trader Gal, too, Mr. Mom. So you and Trader Gal should just connect because you're in the same vicinity of your thought process, which is why Trader Gal's decided she, like, piecemeals out of everything. 
always, constantly. In fact, Trader Gal, I'm sure you got added half of this somewhere in here. Anyways, so this kind of day doesn't bother me. Like if I actually trailed on both these and took a loss, I actually wouldn't be bothered because I think I played it as well as I could have and there's no reason for me to get out of something for, for 20 cents. And I didn't have any of these numbers written down for the targets. So I played it right, If I even if I get stopped. But what does bother me And what I wrestle with, which is, does not happen often, is this. Am I considered an option expiration today? No. That has nothing to do with me doing gaps. Uh, if uh, you, you can look at the market in reference to that, but it has nothing to do with the gaps. Here, hold on. This, this kind of thing in here, this, this is where, this is where I wrestle with it back and forth is this kind of thing in here. And even, and even the CAG, and even the CAG, quite frankly, and even, even the CAG in here, you know, because again, I call this to go to the dream target on this day, like days like that, if you had done the initial call in this on Monday, it was Tuesday, it went a dollar, like, and like, this is what I wrestle with. I wrestle with things like the CAG, like the QCOM. I wrestle with things like that, meaning, like, no matter, like, this, I can't even justify having gotten out of it. And, and if I trail on both, then I played it as well as I could have professionally. But what I wrestle with, which we don't have every week, it's a couple times a month, though, it, it happens usually, like, where I know that something is going to go, like, to some crazy number, and... I don't hold it down there because I'm up a lot. It just doesn't make sense to. I am up a lot of money at the time of the day. It's still morning. I have more than my goal made. I had a perfect entry. I don't want to be piggish, you know, but then it does end up going to the exact number that I said that it would. And I could name a million like this really over the course of the last however many years, but I don't have an answer for that. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's just like, you know, really. So this kind of thing here doesn't bother me because I feel like I have to play it out to make money. But the ones where they, I say, oh my gosh, and then they, they, have, they just go and they go to some huge number and I'm in them and I'm up a lot. And then I know though it's going to go to this number, which is even a bigger number. Because I've gone back and looked at my results for that. Like when I've looked at actually where I've entered the trade, where it's ended up going, where I said that it would go, whenever we get things, like it ends up being sometimes, which is why I wrestle with it myself, that I would actually have made double the money if I had stayed in it to the dream target. Like to the dream target. Like it's not even like I would have made a little bit. It's like I would have made double. Like it would have made a big difference. And and. What can you do? I mean, what can you do? It's like, what can you do? You, you, I'm not saying I don't stay in every trade of the dream target. I mean, there are trades I get to the dream target, but I'm saying at a certain point, you measure out the time of the day, the entry, how much you're up, it pushes back against you. You have the exit signs. You have other targets too. You, it's all a fine balance. So this is why you can't be greedy with it. You have to do what you feel comfortable with. This has based on what you want to do, what you're comfortable with. And, and I'm telling you, you've got to be okay with what you're risking. You have to be okay with what you're making. You do have to watch the time of the day, and you have to have conviction in the gap. How good is the quality of the gap? Jeff B. just got, got what? Got both of them, or he didn't have either one of them? Jeff B. just took, did these late. Well, you're fine with the NDLS. Stop is 60 some cents in there. That's not a bad entry. This one here with the fuel, it's not terrible either. I mean, you could put the stop probably at 11.50. Look at, look at the market. I mean, once again, not going anywhere down. People shorted this, not going anywhere down today, not gonna happen. This is not gonna happen. Well, Jeff B., again, if you do the class, you're probably going to have to change brokers. 
So does anyone have any questions before I read Jaguar Pa's story? It's really, it's more than a, it's not just a testimonial, it's a story. It's, a, it's his story, and I kind of mentioned this a couple weeks ago. We all have our stories. Everyone here has a story, and you could write me your story, and maybe I'll do a thing. Uh, Jaffa said go NDLS. It's at 1994. <laughs> it's two pennies down from where I last looked at it. You're funny. Um, <laughs> everyone has a story. Everyone has a story, and that's very, very important. Some people's stories are very moving. And a couple weeks ago, or a week ago, or two weeks ago, whenever I said that Jaguar Parr really needed to tell his story. And there's actually more to his story, but it's too personal that he couldn't put it in. But he did put a lot of detail in the story. But there's actually, there's an overlay of even more personal stuff to his story, which is too personal to write on a testimonial, but and there's a, even more to it. But even what he wrote is very heartfelt. Jaffa is mentally moving NDLS. Okay, keep that up then for us. And anyone else? And Great Caspi, you really could retake it, but I, but you know, I don't know why you killed it in the first place. You did retake it. Okay. All right, let's read Jaguar Paw's story. Is everyone listening? There's nothing to do. Your stop should be in. I'm watching the trades. If fuel goes anywhere. Back down again in the five minute, you can add. I'm not doing that. I'm going to be patient. And NDLS isn't doing anything wrong. It's probably going to break before the other one again. Okay, Jaguar Paw said, about a year ago, I was facing tough economic times that hit me by surprise. Different things occurred, such as losing my job, which he emailed me at the time. He lost his job which put me in a constant battle to find the necessary means to support his family. At the time, I had only known Melissa for about three months, literally. I think it was even less than three months. And I was in the process of learning her 26-point strategy, which I found by searching YouTube videos of the stock market. Unfortunately, due to the unstable period I was facing, I decided to close the trading account, and my goal of learning how to trade the market was professionally was postponed. I think he literally did the class, opened the account, and then lost his job. It was like literally like boom, boom, boom. Talk about perseverance. My priority was to find the right balance in life that would allow me to come back. I faced the following months with a positive attitude. Although it wasn't easy to deal with the uncertainty, of course, because there's no guarantees. That's why when people ask me for guarantees, I say, you're not meant to be a trader, okay? When anyone asks me for guarantees or wants to see my trading account statements or wants to see my results, I say, you know what? You're not cut out for this business. Go work someplace else because you're not going to get any guarantees from me and you're not going to get any guarantees from anyone. And you know what? If anyone even gives you any guarantees, they're full of it, okay? And even if I prove to you that I can do it, which I do day after day in here, it doesn't mean you're going to because you may not have the mental stamina to do it, okay? And what I like about Jaguar Paw is that he has the mental stamina. Now, let me get back here. Although it wasn't easy to deal with the uncertainty, the following months became interesting as I learned different traits, such as working with horses. I never worked with horses in my entire life, and I was lucky to find an experienced person who not only introduced me to this beautiful world, but also taught me how to bring cash home by training horses. By the way, Jaguar Paw, it's one of my dreams to own a racehorse. This is one of my dreams is to own a racehorse. Maybe you can help me with that, huh? Later on, I acquired a job at a community college, and I noticed how things changed in general, and I believe it was due greatly to the right attitude I had. By the end of 2014, I was able to come back to the stock swoosh and learn everything from scratch. I think he redid the class. I think he redid the class like twice. I received positive news in regards of a disability claim I filed about two years ago through the Department of Veterans Affairs. Again, perseverance. The series of events unfolded in such a way today that I am trading in a better state of mind. Having the right balance and the right energy is key to everything, which, by the way, is something Melissa emphasizes a lot in every lesson she gives. Melissa is not just a great teacher, an outstanding day trader who trades the stock market with the accuracy of a sniper. That's a great analogy, Jaguar Paw, and thank you so much. That is fantastic. But she is also a great human being with, who has a genuine concern for everyone to learn. That is so nice. Thank you so much, Jaguar Paw. She really wants everyone in the stock switch room to make it. Although I haven't met her in person, 
She has earned my trust because of how transparent she is. I'm honored to have met her, and I feel blessed to have her as a mentor now. Her strategy teaches everything you are going to need in order to trade the stock market at a, at a professional level, and I am confident I will find success as a day trader. That is very heartfelt and wonderful, and thank you so much, Jaguar Paul. And his story is good because he had hard times and he pushed through them. And not only that, guess what? He came out of it better than ever. Between learning a new career in something that he enjoys with the horses, okay, and then having the windfall of the claim, and to still be able to come back and have me here and do the class and, and, learn, and teach him again, you know, he kept positive through the whole thing. When something happens to you that you just do not expect that's like out of your control like you didn't do anything wrong you didn't do anything wrong you the company i think was downsizing when he got laid off there's there nothing he could do there's nothing he could do okay he could have been the best employee in the world he could have been the vice president the company was downsizing when something like that happens you have to take the situation that happens and turn it around into a positive situation learn from the experience take it move it forward move it forward do the reset what we've talked about uh, by taking a situation that you would look at from the sidelines and say this is negative, even though I hate to actually, you know, what's the word, uh, judge a situation as negative or positive. We're even going to get out of the judgment again. Judging, 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 judging. But if you look at the situation and say, I didn't want this to happen, this isn't exactly what I thought would transpire. You can take that situation and turn it around, press reset, and move forward and make it something better than it could have been if you had carried on in the same situation that you're in, even though it seems challenging. Beggar Paz says you're welcome. Yes, thank you. Yeah, Anna's bringing up a good point about guarantee for their jobs. I mean, even if you have a regular job, it's not guaranteed. I mean, y y again, you're, there's no guarantees. You could fall in love with someone tomorrow, get married, have three kids, have what you think is a fantastic relationships, unbreakable bond, unbreakable love, and the person could cheat on you or ask for a divorce and your whole life crumbles in front of your eyes. And you thought you met the person you're going to spend the rest of your life with. You're with them for years. You build a life with them. What happens? Okay. You know, you have to learn to adapt. And it's beyond that. It goes to the idea of evolving, this evolution. Well, how do you do that? You need to change. You need to get in touch with yourself. You need to evolve. You need to change. If you want to be successful in this world, you must do it. It is going to be a do or die situation. The people that are not uh, have, do not have the ability to evolve and change and grow and manifest what they want in this world, in this life, in 2015 and the next century that we're going to be in, okay, you have to be able to evolve. The, the, the resources that you need that are necessary for you to do it are here. I'm giving you tools. Okay. I'm giving you financial tools, but I'm also giving you mental tools. Mental tools to take forward and use to your advantage. Which obviously something that I said to Jaguar Paw stuck. Now he generally probably is a positive person. Whether his belief is in faith or something else or just himself, but I reinforced that in him. I helped him to get the conviction, which counts. These trades are both kind of going to work as I'm sitting here talking and the market is holding as expected. And these trades are going to go into work late, even though the market's holding now. It's a bizarre world, but here. This is going to break the low. I'm all out of this. If it anywhere even near bounces in 1950, you could just put a stop order out there to fill you and get out of it in 1950. And this thing here looks fine too. And you could retake it, but I'm not doing that. And there's nothing wrong with anything today. And if you took them out early, that's fine. It's either late trades now we're in, and I didn't expect that. But they're actually not doing anything wrong. And you're actually positive in these numbers here in these trades where you took them. They are taking forever. Jennifer is getting annoyed as well. What can you do? Uh, Anna's saying she knows somebody that got divorced. She wanted it. Okay. And eight months later, she's having a pity party. Okay. Some people are just negative, period. That's true. And if you hang around, they will just, they will try to drag you down with them. Exactly. So you know what you do? 
And you just go like that. Whoop. Wipe your hands of it. Bless you. Good luck. Kiss them goodbye. You don't have to have people like that in your life. It doesn't mean you have to, you know, be mad at them or like not care about them. I mean, you can love them from afar. You don't want to be talking to those people all the time. Don't judge them as a bad person. Just say, you know what? Thank you. I need to be friends with some other people right now. And just, you know, you don't have to talk to them every day. And this is where it goes back to the idea of, you know, traders getting together. Like some people who do the trials of the rooms complain about the fact the room is closed off. That was the best decision I ever made. Do you have any idea how much noise would be in this room and lack of focus if the room was opened up? And it's not just for the trial people. It's the regular people too. Everyone would be talking, 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 talking. Because some of you have very, uh, you know, good personalities. Some of you are very boisterous. And that's all fun and games in social world, but not in reference to trying to focus on making money. And there would be too many distractions. And you don't want to be distracted. You don't want anything to distract you. And it's a distraction if you have people in your life that are negative, and it's a distraction if people in your life that don't reinforce you or being positive and doing it as a trader. And actually, you don't even have to talk to people about your trading. And I think it's better if you don't talk to anyone about it at all. I really actually don't talk to anyone about it. My personal things, very, very rare. I really don't talk to people about it. Every once in a while, I'll talk to something that happened here in the room with you, or every once in a while, I'll talk to someone else like my mom about something that happened. But I really do it less now than I ever have before, and I'm trading better. So it's like I should just almost never talk about it. In fact, a long time ago, when I was in the period of figuring this out, and I was struggling because I had figured it out. And I go back, and I trade the afternoon, give the money back. I, I was talking to my mom about it. This was a long time ago, years ago, and she said, why are you even talking about this anymore? Stop talking about it, she would say. Stop, just don't talk about what happened today anymore. And what she said was right. It was like, just don't talk about it. Just let it go. You have amnesia if something doesn't work out right. Man, are these snails, though. Uh, people that are trader friends tend to go on and 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 they commiserate together and they agonize together and they just talk together and they all they do is talk and talk and talk and talk and commiserate. There's no positive productivity that comes out of traders joining together unless there's a person in charge you control, which for this room, it's me. So other than that, I can't really control what the chitter chatter would be. If I had a party or if I had a live class and you all came, I would still be in control of what was happening. If we were live, we'd have interaction physically and you would be talking to each other, but I would still be setting the tone for our personal interaction and the energy in the room to be positive. So it still would be a controlled environment. Okay. Uh, West Coast is saying, kiss them on the cheek and wish them well, as you say. Negative people, yes. Uh, Jennifer is really getting annoyed with these things taking so long. Trader Gal saying Facebook can be a problem for keeping up good energy as well. You know what? For when people put stuff on Facebook that is tragic, I just, I can't, I, I cringe. I just, oh gosh. Trader Gal has a thing about Facebook, which she's actually right. But, you know, the stock switches on Facebook. It's just, you really, it's a good way to keep in touch with people you haven't seen for a long time old friends or whatever, but Trader Ground has a point, you know. People reveal too much of themselves on there. People spend too much time there comparing their life with others who brag, brag book. That's funny, and that isn't reality. Trader Gal has some good points. Anna doesn't like FB as well. Shower Singer says, my friend owned half of a racehorse eight years ago. It was a lot of fun. It was very hard business to make money. Yeah, I, I, you don't make money unless you're the king of the world, basically, yeah, exactly. It's very expensive. Only very wealthy people own racehorses, and it's very hard to make money doing it. You're absolutely right, Shower Singer. But who knows? Someday I might. I have so many names that I could call one. It's not even funny. <laughs> I have, like, so many names. Like, even even a couple of years ago, even a couple of years ago, it was, like, before I started the business, I was, like, I just, I could rattle off, like, 100 names. Like, I, they're all great, too. I can like, rattle off like a hundred horse names. I can name a horse. <laughs> Who knows? Anything's possible. All right. Has anyone killed these for just for the purpose of the snail? Uh, even though they're not doing anything wrong and I'm still in them. Has anyone actually still in them with me? <laughs>
Jeffy's still in it. Anna's still in it. Jeffy took him late, so he has no choice. Great scaps. We got back in it. All right. Yes, Trader Gal is asking about both in a full size. Yes. What can I do? I mean, this is what we were talking about, about the, the fact that you could have gotten out of both quickly and just been done with the day, like 10 hours ago. But I don't regret holding this because this isn't where I wrestle with myself. Because if this goes on to work today, I'm going to make money more than I would have if I would have taken out in the morning. What I wrestle with is the ones that I am up a lot and that I see a bigger target in play, but I know the time of the day and the money I'm up and I'm conscious of that and I exit the position with a real number, a target or an exit. I mean, I'm not just whimsically exiting them. I know that this is really the right place to get out. But I, and the, I also have conviction it's going to go to a crazy number and then it does. And then I actually could have made double. Those, that's, those are the ones I wrestle with. This is what we're talking about. These ones here I don't wrestle with. Like I never question myself, did I play this right? I wrestle with the other ones, you know. Red is in both. Line 38 and Jennifer's in. West Coast is in NDLS. And Trader Girl never ponders a lost fish. And this is setting up here on the, this is going to set up on the 15 minute. This is crazy. But this is, and you know what? We're going to lower the stop after that happens. After that sets up in the 15 minute, and after this sets up in the 15 minute, man, this is definitely going to break, though. I just don't know what these things are waiting for all their life. People are going to attempt to trade the market on the 15 minute as a short. It isn't a short. It is not a short. Could it go down and push and break the low of the day? Sure, it could. Do I think it's going to happen? No, no, I don't think it's going to because the market is getting bought. It has been getting bought. Even today, it looks like it's getting bought, and I, I don't even know why I'm shocked anymore. But I had no plans, no plan of action today to actually be in any trade past 10.02. And here it is, it's 10.34, and I don't feel like being in this all my life. But what can I do? I actually don't think these are doing anything wrong, and I really don't want to kill them. And yes, I'm up money in them, but really, I mean, I want to play out the day. So you can decide what you want to do here. It's really up to you. Any way you took this, if you kill the trade right here, you're out money. There's a possibility this could trail against you because it is 1034 and they haven't continued and they, neither one is going to the target. And the market looks like it's going to hold. Do I think they still continue? Yes. Are they setting up in the higher time frame? Yes. Are we going to be able to lower the stop when that happens? Yes. So your risk will be less and you could follow it through. And if you don't have anything to do into lunch or this afternoon, you could just be patient. If you got a lot of them in the morning, that's fine. You're done. I wouldn't retake them. Trader Gal is talking about fish and eating daily. That's a good analogy, too. It's a very good analogy. All right, I'm going to tell you one more quick story here, and then I don't have anything else to talk about today. Uh, a new person here on its trial, I forget how he even found me, was here on Wednesday the day of the actual fossil, okay? Did the fossil trade, made the money on that day in that trade for the class? Email me the forms and sign up for the class that day. Now, I'm trying to think if that's ever happened in one trade. It might have and nobody told me. I know it's happened that people have been here in a trial and made the money for the class for a, over a couple of days or a week or whatever. I know that that has happened. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't I don't know. I can't remember anyone that actually confirmed to me that they made the money for the class in one trade, even though I always knew it was possible. Some people might have done it and never told me. But Jeremy was in here on a trial this week and made the money for the class in one trade in one day and signed up for the class immediately. Now, there's conviction there because he obviously knows that the system works. He's been here every day this week, but it also he made the money for the class to pay for it. Okay. Now, does that mean that everyone that comes in here at trial should try to make $3,000 in five days? No, no, it doesn't, because if you don't have an account size to do that, you can't. And really, if you're here observing, you necessarily shouldn't be taking all the trades, because what if you don't understand what I'm doing, which Jeremy never did really gas before, except for he had an account and he knew how to press the button, and, 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 but he really never was doing gaps before, and this is very aggressive. And, and he was late on some of the entries, but he kind of got the hang of it, and he did it. And, and, and there was, you know, it could have gone either way because he really didn't do the class, all right? But it worked out in his favor 
because for some reason he had conviction and probably it was just meant to be, meaning he was meant to be to learn this and find me and do the class and, and do it and, and, and do it. Okay. But do you see how you open yourself up to the possibilities of greater things to happen in your life and they can? Like that could happen to a lot of people, but a lot of people won't allow that to happen themselves. Amazing things can happen to people, but a lot of times people aren't open to amazing things happening to them. People are very closed off. So if you close yourself off to the possibility of things, great things happening to you, they won't. And how do you do that by being in fear? When you're in fear, you close yourself off to the great possibilities of amazing things happening during your life and connecting with amazing people. And you also have to be in awareness and discernment when you meet someone that is an opportunity. In other words, when you come in contact with someone that you that you that is an opportunity, an opportunity to meet or learn from, whatever it is, a business opportunity, a trading opportunity, a trade, a class like mine, a person that you'd meet like me, a, a love of your life, a romantic thing, anything, anything you meet, when it's an opportunity, you, you can take it or you can pass. you got to be in discernment to recognize it's an opportunity. Some people are so out of touch they don't even know an opportunity when it hits them in the face. But if you do recognize it's an opportunity and you're in fear and you don't take the chance, because everything you do is you're taking a trance, then you're then you're then you're gonna miss out. You don't know it's an unknown. You don't know, but you're you're gonna miss out. Because if you recognize it's an opportunity, you gotta take that as your intuition. Your intuition is saying, "Wait a minute, this is an opportunity here. I'm gonna go for it." Okay, and we do that every day when we take a trade. By the way, it just happens so quickly, and we're out of these so quickly. Like quickly meaning we're we're not we're we're not in these trades for days or weeks or months or years. So we see an opportunity quickly and we're out of it quickly in the live day. But we really do that every day when we trade. All right. But I'm saying there's bigger things in life when you make decisions that is opportunity. If you're completely out of balance, a lot of times you won't recognize it. You gotta stay in balance. If you're in balance, you'll recognize it's an opportunity. Will you be able to move forward and charge forward and take the opportunity and grab it and claim it and make it your own and make it work for you in your life? That's where it involves taking a chance and not knowing the future. It's an unknown. And you know, the people that I connect with the best on the planet, which is very few people actually, are people that can do that. If I ever meet a man that can be there with me in that space, I'm going to marry him. I'm going to marry him immediately. That's, that's why I haven't been married. Uh, here's this. Look at this. All right, let's look here at Anna. I agree traders need to start small, especially if they're trying a new strategy. Yep. All right, any questions from anyone and anything? I, I don't really have anything else to say. You're managing this. The stop is in. You're managing the NDLS. The stop is in. NDLS looks like it's going to break around lunch. Somewhere between 11 and 12 o'clock, NDLS is basing, 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 basing like a breakdown play. I think the stop still needs to be where it is. You can be tighter with it now, though, but I don't think by much. It could still do a topping tail thing and go on to break, so I'm just going to leave it. This probably goes to 19, NDLS. Fuel, though, is right on the cusp. Fuel, like, literally has to fix itself quickly on the 15-minute chart. I don't want to see any more of a rally here, and it definitely can't get back up in the 30s. And if it does, it's probably not going to work. If you really wanted to be crazy tight with this, which I couldn't put it past you to do, and I'm just wondering if I should myself, if we should just lower the stop over that. Because honestly, this shouldn't do anything over 30. And I'm just seeing this right now. Let me just look at something here. I think I'm going to lower the stop on this. I'm putting the stop on this at 35, and I'm calling it a day. This is way tight now, but it is late, and the other one's going to go into work. So stop on the fuel is 1135. The NDLS, you got to keep the stop where it is, okay? So stop on NDLS is 2060. This looks like it's going to break down and break. The fuel... I just lowered it, 11.35, that's it for this puppy, or I'm out. I don't want it to do a 15 minute buy setup. Does anyone have any questions about anything else? If not, I don't have anything else to say today, I'm gonna let everybody go. Steve K says, thank you for the amazing week in your class, learn so much, talk soon, enjoy your weekend. Yeah, Steve, whenever you're ready to do the class, email me. I know we talked last night.
Line 38 said, thanks again, great stuff. You're welcome. Line 38, I did get your email about redoing the class this weekend. Today is the last day to sign up for the class if you're in here in a trial. 5 o'clock is the deadline. My mom sent me a nice email about Jaguar Paws Facebook. <laughs> she just said great comments from whoever that guy was on Facebook. Just wanted to say that without commenting on Facebook. There, my mom's like trader gal. <laughs> She's on it, but she doesn't make a lot of comments. All right, everybody good? So you'll get the password for the run this weekend, for next week. We had a nice week this week. Let's give us ourselves a round of applause before everybody gets out. Round of applause for this week, people. Short week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Market more bullish than it's been for the last four months. Market rallying here today. We're going to make a new hire today. Market going to make a new hire today. We're still in two shorts. Well, we had the most bullish week we've had all year so far. Look for more of this into the follow through in 2015. But we had a great week shorting. And good job, everyone. And every single person in here should be up money. Every single solitary person should be up money this week. And the market, look what it did. Okay. Great gas who says applause for me. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Have a good day, everyone. Jaguar Paw, stay behind. I'm going to bring up your information and we'll talk here. Give me a couple of minutes here to get some coffee and stuff. And, and we're gonna, I'm going to have to watch these things now while we're talking, but that's okay. Wonderful. Anna hopes the man comes to my door in a white horse. Works for me. <laughs> Works for me and saves me off my feet. You know what it's going to take? Fireworks, like the fireworks I saw the other night for Chinese New Year. When I meet someone, it's like, whoosh, explosion. That's the man I'm going to marry. Fireworks immediately. <laughs> Shazam. All right. Have a good day, everyone. Have a good weekend. Bye.